Hey there, it's Kristen from Ardani Farm, and as promised, <laughs> number one, first, today it is absolutely stunning. It's um, in the 70s, breezy, dry, oh, just gorgeous. But we have had a lot of rain in the past like three or four days, and I told you guys that I wanted to send a video of the track after some rain, because um, you know that if you've been following from the beginning, we had a major mud situation <laughs> when we first, um, create our track but this same area even after all of that rain is glorious it dried out so fast so the power of plants um, it's definitely telling me what I need here is evergreen plants to be um, growing and soaking up water the whole time all year because this did not look like this <laughs> after three days of straight rain before so unless you guys have other ideas as to why um i think that just obviously we took the horses off of it um in some areas but even the like here where we have obviously horse traffic nice and dry and i'm just really excited <laughs> um we're deep into prep for uh building out some extra features for our new resident Rose, who will be here at the end of the month, and she will be our first uh, horse on the property who uh, we are going to be kind of rehabbing through an active laminitis. She foundered a few weeks ago and has been under the, the care of a good friend, um, and we decided to see if track life is going to um, be the best thing for her. So we're going to bring her to the track and see how she does. Um, really excited. To, to see her take to this. She's um, been on strict rehab, dry lotted for the past several weeks, and we'll be working to make a transition here and start to build out how we're going to onboard horses who cannot be on grass because currently my biological quarantine area um, is grass, um, which is normally not a problem, but in this instance, uh, won't work for us. So uh, we are happily working through that problem and uh, creating a spot to onboard her. Uh, we are not going to do a strict biological quarantine, which I usually I am, you know, very adamant to do. We know where she's coming from. Um, again, it's, it's the farm of a good friend. And um, she actually has been in quarantine herself for a number of weeks because she's been on this dry lot. Um, so she is going to be able to share a fence line with our horses from day one. And again, that would normally not be my policy for onboarding a new horse, but a little bit different of a situation this time. Um, it's such a glory day that even Allie, who really hates the bugs, is out and enjoying the sunshine and the breezes and walking the track, even though it's the middle of the day. So pretty, pretty good day here. Um, yeah, once we get our little dry lot paddock set up, I will share it with you and share the adventures of Rose and uh, introduce you formally to the rest of the herd too. But again, just mm, all-star day for the middle of May. Uh, hope y'all are having a great day too. Well, someone's definitely been trouncing through the meadows. <laughs> I don't know if it's deer or who's making tracks, but someone's pressing pressing down and using this little area as a highway. <laughs> One of our new projects that we're working on this weekend is getting a second gate installed. Now that we are feeding horses outside in the barnyard, we need to have a second gate so it's easy to get horses out without any competition so that we can work with them or just grab them for any reason. So that's what's going in here and I'm um, excited to see how this actually helps us in the long run. Hello. So today I learned that fire ants can live inside old gates. Yeah, so the answer here is I need So now that we've been on the property for a minute, we are starting to realize the flow of things. And one thing that I'd recommend for you if you're setting up your property from scratch now is to have separate exits for your property. So having 
two or even three gates that you can use to safely get horses in and out of the track I think would be a really smart thing to do. Obviously, our main gate has become very highly reinforced for a lot of our horses who come outside to get their alfalfa or to get their um, more high value food that some of the um, less metabolically blessed horses don't get. Um, so that gate has actually become pretty high value for them and it makes it hard to get any horse other than those three out through that gate. So we're going to mitigate this problem by creating a second gate that doesn't have that same pull to it and this should allow us to get horses in and out safely and stress-free. And if one gate is seeming pretty busy, we could always use the other one. And honestly, a third gate would be my preference, um, but we are limited in funds and time here. So one gate it is. But again, if you're setting up a property from scratch, I highly recommend having two gates um, and just being mindful of the type of reinforcement history that you're creating with your gates and how your property is set up and taking that all into account from the beginning. So now that we're into summer, we're definitely having grass and other things pop up alongside the track. And I'm cautiously allowing the horses to nibble on these. We haven't gone crazy. We did pretty significantly weed whack the interior of the front surface track, but we're leaving the back for browsing opportunities. And I'm just liking the amount of walking I'm seeing compared to the amount of you know grass that they're picking up. So right now I'm allowing for it, but we're keeping an eye on it. We're monitoring, monitoring hooves, monitoring condition, and we'll see where this progresses. So that's our update for today. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us and seeing what's going on on the farm. Speaking of things going on on the farm, on June 5th, we have our first online lecture series on understanding your hay analysis, which can be so important if you're transitioning your horses onto a track system and forage is a main part of their diet, then getting your hay analyzed, if you can get it in high enough quantities, and then understanding that report is so important. Also in June, we're going to launch our Positive Reinforcement uh, Horse Training Club. That'll be on our website as well. And I hope to see you guys there and we can see all the fun things that you're training with your horses and share ideas. And I think the community is going to be really special. So I'm just really looking forward to getting that off the ground and going. Uh, again, all the information is going to be on our website. Thanks again for being with us. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.